Hi, uh, this is uh, Benny Badman from Kalala Bay in Australia. Proud new owner of a used Boss Jam Station JS5. Um, I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I've been having a lot of fun uh, uh, creating some tunes. So I'll, I'll just play you a sample so you get a, a bit of an idea of what I'm into. Nice little hip hop tune. Um, I like a bit of blues and whatever including some live um, guitar recording uh, a funk track so um, yeah just these things are really quick to produce and I love them um, uh, and, and this one I'm really proud of this is uh, uh, Shadows meets uh, Tex-Mex <laughs> so, so if you got an interest in doing stuff like that we'll get, <laughs> get in touch right away stop uh, that was another blues, and now, th and now this is the song I'm going to use today. Um, you may recognise the tune, uh, but this is a tune based on uh, New Age ballad style. Um, and um, uh, interestingly, so what I'm going to try to today is, is re record that into Studio One on my uh, PC. Uh, ba basically, record the audio and the MIDI tracks as well. Uh, get them out and. Uh, uh, see what I can do with them. So, um, so just to show you what my setup is, um, I've got um, two MIDI in and out plugged into the Jam Station. They're going to my um, Focusrite Firewire audio interface, um, and I'm also sending the headphone feed into it. Um, probably would have got better sound using the outputs, but I just didn't have a cable to hand, so I went with that. Um, I've also got a microphone which is using up for my voiceover. So if we go into Studio One, you can see um, so far I've just got a new, um, <coughs> created a new um, track, a couple of tracks here. The, this is the voiceover and that one, you can see it there. And this is the headphone feed. So if, if I play it, you can see it's getting a recording there. Okie doke. Um, now, what I need to do in order to capture the MIDI, I have to create an external device that in, order, in Studio One, that's here in a different door, it may be some other method. Now I've already created it, um, you can see there, go to the setup and it's all there, but I'm going I'm to pretend I haven't done that and pretend to create a new one, so you know what to do. So cre create a new keyboard, which is the first item here, give it a name, we'll call it Boss, and we're going to call it JS5. Two, we'll call it um, two. I'm not going to actually save this, so uh, I'll just give it any name for now. Now, from the manual, we know that uh, JS5 sends MIDI out on channels two, three, and four, and the drum track is ten, which is a multiple track. And I'm going to tell it to receive, receive from my audio interface, which is, as I said before, is um, Sapphire Pro 24 DSP. I'll get that warning because it's already in use, but I'm expecting that. Don't worry about any filters there, but we're also going to need to send to it as well, and that's so we can use the transport controls in the door to um, start and stop the JS5. Uh, definitely want to split the channels, that's the MIDI channels. Um, default instrument input, I'm not, yeah, we could try that, I'm not sure what that does. Send MIDI clock, use MIDI clock, send MIDI time code, so you all want that selected. Now I'm going to hit cancel because I've already I don't, I created it, I don't want to use two of these, and I'm just going to um, hit. Um, I could cancel and then uh, we'll go back and have a look at one I've already created just to confirm there it is in the list of in external devices and we go to the setup and you can see I didn't have default instrument but you could use that let's turn it on see what happens okay but you can see the important thing was to have those four channels mapped okay um, now next thing you need to do is create some new tr new instrument tracks to receive uh, now if this was set to audio you need to go to instrument like there like that and um, we're going to give it a name the first one will be drums and we're going to set the input now we said so js5 now we, we know from the manual that it's uh, channel 10 the drums are going to come in there so we're just going to do that um, and i'm going to uh, map it to impact that's studio one drum synthesizer so I just put it there okay gonna got record turned on um, to need whoops what happened there hang on it went in yeah just move that move it back down so and I don't want it now I don't want the um, output on at the moment I'm just going to turn that off there 
Okay, and like just simply we're going to do create some new tracks for the bass. And we know that was JS5 channel 2. And we're going to map that to Mojito, which is a, a bass synthesizer. And again, we will um, turn it on, turn that off. Oh gosh, my um, nearly lost power there. <laughs> and just a third one. And this is going to be instrument one. Now I'm only going to create one of those. Um, so it's channel three. Um, the reason I'm not, and I'm going to give this to Presence, which is a synth. Okay. Now the reason I'm not going to um, do a fourth one is because um, this particular song, uh, Time After Time, Time After T, um, only uh, is using that new age style, which only actually uses three MIDI channels. So I've got those three mapped now. Now there's one other thing I need to do. I'm back on the jam station in order to sync um, it to Studio One. I need to go into the Utility menu. If it's at one menu, menu number six is MIDI, and by default it'll be set to internal. And I just need to change that to MIDI. That works. Or I could also go to Auto. Both of those things would work. We'll go to MIDI in this case, but Auto might be actually be better because you can, it'll allows you to. Um, you still use the uh, lo local um, transport as well, whereas see the, if I'm just using MIDI, it cuts out the stop and start buttons. See, okay, um, all right. Um, and now, um, if I see if I hit play, play in Studio One, you can see the Jam Station starts to play. And then if I hit Return, um, it, it did actually return to zero. I noticed that the measure counter didn't change because it must be some sort of in, internal logic. But if I hit Start again it immediately go back to one so even though, even though it's not showing it that has happened and now all I need to do I've got everything um, set to record and I just hit record in studio one so it starts playing and recording and you can see it's capturing all the, um, the MIDI files it's capturing the audio which is out of the um, headphone socket and it's still got my voice there um, coming into the mic with it, which has nothing to do with the JS5 at the moment. Um, so what I'm, as this is just a demonstrative principle, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but um, I'll just show you, I can, I can turn down uh, the output, which um, it, it's faded the, um, it's faded the headphone, but see it hasn't, it hasn't um, done anything to the MIDI. Uh, so if you did want to fade your MIDI somehow, you need to, um, use the, um, you could use your door to you know, basically create some sort of fade and then I hit stop and then basically it stops. All right, very good. Now what we might, we'll, we'll just leave that one on, clear that, uh, clear all the records um, and we're going to just, I'm going to solo, solo that as well. So just to put in studio one, so it starts playing it's recorded the recording um, and you can see it's capturing all the, um, Yeah, so um, as you can, I'm going to delete that initial recording because that's only going to confuse people. Um, so it's got that, and now if you, once again we can we can we can mute that, and let's um, see what happens when we um, uh, try and solo. Uh, I'll be, well, I won't solo. I'll solo all three tracks together, and we're probably going to get some horrible cacophony here. Here we do, because the thing is we haven't really mapped the uh, patches. Um, uh, JS5 doesn't really use, I don't think it uses a default mapping or one that, that it, it may work, there may be ways and means to do it, but I'm, I'm not really too sure about that. So basically we just need to go into the air instrument here and I'll put it, I'll keep it, um, just I'll put a looping in this loop and then I'll just see if I can find a patch of work. Oh, that one. Uh, oh, let me just, just turn, turn that off for the moment, that's horrible. And yeah, so you, you could basically say, find, just find something nice that works. Okay, that, that's fine, yeah. And um, where's our drum? We just turn, turn, turn those down a little. So see, um, Studio One breaks out the different uh, drum kits. And you might notice also that the drum, the drum kit's actually use, only using three voices here, so that's quite interesting, you know. Um, now, um, all right, um, 
Now we can do the same thing, we'll just solo the bass. Oh, I can leave the drums on. And this time we're going to see if we can find something reasonable. That's not too bad. Either. Okay, that works. And then we'll, last, we'll go into the um, presence instrument. We'll grab and we'll just grab a synth and like, you know, because the original thing. Oh, okay. Got some synths in there. I haven't so I've got to mute it here. As you can hear there, hear there was some sort of pitch change going on. It's just because of my choices of patches, but anyway, basically that job's done. So um, that that um, you know pr proved it was pretty easy really to um, record you know your song and uh, capture it for um, posterity, I guess. And you can manipulate it and you can change voicing and I don't know, but I, I suppose most of us in a way bought this sort of te technology. The um, JS5 could be a bit fed up with. Uh, using computers and using doors and that kind of thing and just this is a very low and, and I've, I've really enjoyed I've only had it for a few weeks. I just, I just loved it. I've been back on it every day and been able to produce something I've been quite happy with and um, So there it goes and um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much the end of this tutorial I hope it's to do another one um, before too long and it's going to show how you can produce a, um, a MIDI track uh, either in your door or using a uh, external controller or something like that and then send it back into the JS5 um, to um, uh, either create a style or create a form, something like that. Um, so uh, thanks again from uh, Ben, ben from um, uh, Kalala in um, Kalala Bay in, uh, New South, in New South Wales, Australia. And um, thanks for watching and, and I hope to, you'll uh, catch up with uh, me again sometime. Okay, bye.